here at uh, Bush Gardens. They are three-quarter scale replicas of the trains that were used by the Europeans in Africa in the late 18, early 1900s. We do have a 1,200 gallon water tank on our tender and instead of using coal or wood in the uh, coal cars, they say, in our tender we have uh, six large propane tanks and that's what heats the water and that creates the steam and that's how we get around. So, uh, so we have two of them are replicas of the ones used in Africa and then we have two that are replicas of the ones used in the American Wild West. The total length of the track around the park is a little over two miles. The train travels usually between six and 10 miles an hour. If we really put the pedal to the metal, we can do 12 miles an hour. So uh, the train does hold about 400 passengers. Sometimes we pack six and a half to a row, so we get more than 400 in. But. Uh, we do have three trains here at Bush Gardens. We are only operating one train today, but with three trains operating, the wait at any one station is only about 10 minutes. So we have disconnected our water line, so that means we will be departing momentarily. Again, we will start out with a little bit of a jerk, and we do ask that you keep your hands and feet inside the train. The foliage is very close to the train between here and Nairobi, so be careful. You can easily get cut. Keep your hands as soon as Paul gives us the signal that it is time to start, Everyone must be seated before we leave, so please remain seated. We are now about to depart. Hold on, we start out with a little bit of a jerk here, and then uh, we're going to say goodbye to our station master, Paul. We have a couple good drivers today that are real smooth operators. If you would, turn to the left, say goodbye to Paul. He's our station master. He's been out here all day today. I mean, he's chilled to the bone. Say goodbye, Paul. If you don't say goodbye, he gets a little tear in his eye. Here goodbye, Paul. Goodbye, Paul. As we leave Stanleyville, we're coming out from underneath Chikra. Chikra was the first dive coaster in the country. It takes you up to a height of 200 feet, drops you straight down at 90 degrees at 70 miles an hour, takes you right back up to 150 feet, brings you back down through a 360, and you come home in a splash. You guys up there, keep your hands inside the train, please. All the way up on the left-hand side, keep your hands inside the train. Thank you. Coming up on the left-hand side of the train is Stanley Falls. It is one of the tallest log rides in the country. You go up over 40 feet, come down in quite a big splash and do the same thing over again. And then over on the right-hand side of the train is the Scorpion Coaster, one of the favorites here at Bush Gardens. It is located in Timbuktu. It takes you to speeds of 50 mile an hour, turns you around in a 360, and brings you back home a little bit dizzy. So all of that is located in Timbuktu. Also in Timbuktu is Desert Grill. It's the one of home of the, one of the better restaurants here in Bush Gardens. They have a great Dancing with the Stars program in there between now and April. If you get a chance, go in there. It's listed on the back of your map, the different times. But uh, they have a real great show in there throughout the day. 
Timbuktu is also home to uh, our only family coaster, which is Cheetah Chase. And then the Pirate 40 Theater is located in Timbuktu. Timbuktu is also home to a lot of our kiddie rides, our games, our carousel is located in there. So if one of us uh, are giving you directions and we send you to, to uh, Timbuktu, it may not be such a bad thing. Over on the left hand side of the train is the Congo train station and right behind it is the Kumba coaster. For those of you up in the front of the train on the left hand side are our Watusi cattle. They are some of the largest in the world and they date back about 10,000 years. You notice those Watusi cattle have a horn span of about six feet. Now these zebra on the left hand side are those Hartman Mountain zebra I was telling you about. You have some impala on the right hand side. Well look at the hooves on those Hartman Mountain zebra and you'll see how small they are so they can migrate into the mountains of Kenya. Also you got a close look at the stripes you'll see that those stripes are actually brown. We're going to have to stop. We have a zebra on the track. Please remain seated. The train does jerk. So please do remain seated. So you'll notice that the stripes on the zebra are brown. They are not black. Now over on the right is another zebra. They're called the, the uh, Grant Zebra. And they are the most photographed of all the zebra. You'll see that their stripes go all the way around. Now this tan and white animal on the right hand side with the long horns, they are called scimitar horn oryx and they date back about 10,000 years. They were actually domesticated by the Egyptians. That vehicle over on the right is part of the Rhino Rally Ride. That's the one that takes you out. You ride among the animals. I was telling you about that before we left Nairobi. And that is included in the cost of your admission here at Bush Gardens. And you can get that right down from the Nairobi train station. It's one of the great rides here at uh, Bush Gardens. It's called Rhino Rally. The scimitar horn oryx, when the Egyptians would raise them, they would intertwine the horns so that they would make one horn. And we think that's how we got the myth of the unicorn. There they are on the left-hand side, the big old ostrich that like the white sneakers. So those guys, they can weigh up to 300 pounds they're eight feet tall and they can run at 40 miles an hour every once in a while we find an ostrich egg along the track each ostrich egg is equal to about two dozen chicken eggs now over on the left hand side of the train over on this island is where we keep our black rhino black rhino are territorial so uh, we have to keep them separate from everybody else the black rhino is a little smaller than the white rhino black rhino only weighs about 3,000 pounds the uh, white rhino goes about five and usually he's out here and he blends into the landscape sometimes there he is he's back in his cage over on the left and he's kind of reddish in color so that's the black rhino. See them in the back? They have a little different diet than the white rhino and they have a much smaller mouth. There's another ostrich up on the hill. That truck on the left hand side is part of the, of the adventure tour. You get that at the edge of Africa. The water on the right hand side is part of the water for the Rhino Rally Ride. Now coming up on the left hand side of the train are three animals. 
Uh, the one, the mahogany-colored animal with the white face, is called a blesbok antelope. And the blesbok were nearly extinct a few years ago from overhunting, but they've come back in significant numbers. And then there's a, uh, uh, I don't know where that Blesbach is, he disappeared, he's over on the other side of the hill. Oh, they're all lying down, those Blesbach, with the white face. And then you'll see a, uh, a gazelle with a black racing stripe, they're called Thompson gazelle. And uh, they're lying here on the left hand side, they can run about 35 miles an hour. Now over on the right hand side of the train is our elephant reserve. That's where we keep our Asian elephants. That made the elephant when it is born weighs about 200 pounds and it takes that baby elephant about six months to gain control of the 150,000 muscles in his trunk. Well again, my name is Tom. I've been your conductor on this journey around the Serengeti. It's been a pleasure being with you guys. We're now approaching the Nairobi train station. It is the closest station to the entrance to Bush Gardens, to the Rhino Rally, to the Crown Colony House restaurant, and the Katanga Show. Again, we do ask that you please remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. You will be exiting to the right-hand side of the train when you do exit. Remember, you are taking two steps down, so be very careful. We don't want you to slip and fall. Also, remember to take children by the hand as you do exit. We don't want them skidding up their hands and knees. So please wait for the train to come to a stop. Once it does stop, you will be able to exit to the front and to the rear of the train. It will stop in just a minute. It is now safe to exit. Enjoy the rest of your day here at Bush Garden.